welcome to Inside Kennedy Football, your weekly look inside the Eagle Football Program. My name is Josh Powers. Coming up on this edition of Inside Kennedy Football, we'll talk with the head coach, Kendrick Williams, about the big win last Friday. We'll look ahead to the upcoming game against Minneapolis Washburn this Friday. We'll talk to defensive coordinator Jay Robinson. And in the players segment, we'll talk to Saeed Elisani and Marquez Monroe. But first, the head coach, Kedrick Williams. Kedrick, what a great night on Friday. You got back at uh, home at Bloomington Stadium. Tons of fans out, big student section. And boy, did you give them a lot to cheer with a 27-7 to victory. Hey, Josh, thanks for having me again this week. You know, it's great to have a great home opener like that. The energy, the crowd, the kids, the environment. You know, all the chants that they were doing during the game. It's just so <laughs> energetic, man. It was so fun uh, to really see the student body, staff, family, community really come together and give a good performance on Friday night. Boy, really, it was comprehensive from start to finish. Coach, you win the turnover battle. Your first team defense pitches a shutout. Balance on offense and defense. Uh, just uh, so many positives from this game. It really was, you know, and we talked about how do we start this week, you know. It's kind of funny because we flipped a lot of things. You know, I usually defer. We say we want ball first. You know, the, the defensive mentality that we had in that game to really go after uh, Highland Park, to really, you know, they're a team that struggles like we do, up and down. They're in a part of St. Paul that's really kind of affluent but nicer area. But we really wanted to go after uh, Highland Park in a way that we had not at Park Center. You know, we wanted to be aggressive and show that we have improved. We got a lot of juniors who've been playing a lot of football. So I'm just glad our kids really stepped up. All right, Coach, let's get into the highlights here because there's a lot to choose from in this game. Zach Zesh, what a game for Zach. 10 out of 14 through the air for 93 yards, but then he mixes in two long touchdown runs in addition. You know, this is something real cool. I know somebody who really wants to, and I love that block there by our receiver, Rajon Walker, to get really spring him free. But really, Zach, this is something we worked on, Zach, in the offseason with about pulling the ball, something we talked about last year, and it's just fun to see Zach come into his own on that. Well, it worked the first time, so why not well, try it again did. for Zach? This was a, a drive in the second quarter, Coach, and – um, almost a carbon copy, except he had to run a little bit further this time, 82 yards. He did, and again, you'll see him led by Rajon Walker, our receiver who blocks for him there. Um, and really, I was just looking for flags, Josh, at this one. <laughs> it can it happen twice? Can it happen twice? And I, I'm just, again, proud of Zach. He had a great week of practice that week to really gain the support and confidence of his teammates. Well, we saw him get it done through on the ground, Coach. Uh, and as you know, you need to be balanced on offense, and I thought Zach did that. As I mentioned, 10 out of 14, 93 yards. Here, what a great back shoulder throw to Rajon uh, for the touchdown, uh, again, 22 yards. Again, something those two work on, but at the same time, going into half, I told our offensive coordinator oh. we can – oh, that's a, that's a different one. That's the pick from Marquez Monroe, actually, for 100 yards. You know, I'm really proud of Marquez on this one. Uh, he really bounced back. I've been struggling a little bit. I'm going to teach him to stop looking behind him and just run. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was just waiting for Christopher Martin to get that last, <laughs> last block, right? He wanted, he wanted some friends with him. <laughs> the one, that was a huge play, Coach. He basically he sealed huge it time. at that time. They had a chance to maybe come back with some dramatics, and that play right. ended it there. But let's get to that touchdown pass from Zach. I thought he was really efficient through the air. And here, you talk about players making plays. You throw the back shoulder, and you got one of your best athletes, Ray Jean, on the receiving end. He goes up and gets it. And, you know, and I'm, again, proud of Zach. He read it. He got rid of the ball. Uh, Ray Jean did a great job. That's his first touchdown in high school. So, you know, really just a really good time on Friday night. Uh, Obviously, a lot of offensive highlights. You put up 27 points as yeah. a unit, but defensively, we talked about defense pitches, a shutout, at least the first team defense. You mm -hmm. get the pick six mm -hmm. to get a defensive score, and I thought you were disruptive all game. Christopher Martin, Lee Anthony, Wright Ponder, uh, what a game they had. Here's Lee Anthony with the strip sack fumble. You know, I'm really proud of Lee Anthony. He didn't play last year. Uh, he came back this year, called me this summer, and said, Coach, I want to play football again. And I'm really just so happy for Lee Anthony. He also is one of our better basketball players at Kennedy. Yeah, you saw that athleticism batted down a pass, too. Yep. We even forgot to mention special teams. Coach, you recover an onside <laughs> kick. I mean, you pretty much did it in all three phases. I'm sure 
you talk about week one to week two improvement. Gosh, did we ever see that on Friday? Right, we did, and we just have to keep going, Josh. And that's what I tell her. You know, we're a struggling program who struggles to get wins, you know, one to two a year. But this is our first season opener in over 10 years. You know, we're making marks. Yeah, in 2020, we went on our senior night game. In 2019, it's homecoming and senior night. So it's really things that make it monumental changes uh, to the overall program and showing that we can be successful. All right, Coach, we'll uh, let you go. We'll talk more with you about the opponent on Friday. I know you're familiar with Minneapolis Washburn. Be a good battle for you guys on the road uh, in our last segment, okay? Thank you, Josh. All right, that's the head coach, Kendrick Williams, coming up next. It's the players' segment. We talk with a couple of the juniors, Saeed Elasani and Marquez Monroe, when Inside Kennedy Football continues. Head coach of the Kennedy Eagles football program, I am so excited that the 2021 season is on. I would like to personally invite you, your friends, family, and the community out to support our program. We have been working very hard to provide an entertaining style of football that you will enjoy. The Eagles are ready to kick it. It's our time. Come fly with the Eagles. Back on Inside Kennedy Football, the Eagles look to continue their winning ways against Minneapolis Washburn. It'll be a Friday night start on the road for Kennedy this Friday. A couple of the juniors join me now, Marquez Monroe, Saeed Elisani. Thanks a lot, guys, for doing this. Thank you for having us. Marquez, I have to start with the, the big play for you uh, of the week, the 100-yard pick six. How was the stamina as you were chugging downfield? It's, uh... It like it wore out like halfway through, <laughs> but I wanted it, so I kept running. What did you see on that play, Marquez? Obviously, a, a, a couple plays before that, you had in a similar play, you had uh, very nearly uh, made an interception. Were you thinking they might come back to that play, or why? You seemed to just jump that route, almost knew what was coming. Yeah, I was watching the QB's eyes, and he locked his eyes with his tight end, and I knew I could jump it. How good did it feel when you got maybe 30 to 40 yard line? You had a couple of teammates uh, uh, to, to the right of you. You kind of knew at that point it was going to be pretty smooth sailing. It has to be a good feeling. Yeah, I felt great, especially because they blocked for me. If they didn't block for me, I felt like I would have got cut. Saeed, uh, for, from your perspective, what was working so well offensively? Obviously, you had the big rushes by Zach. Um, it's offensive line seemed to be doing the job all night in front of you guys. Uh, yeah, the offense was – actually, it was pretty good that uh, week. Um, offensive line was doing what they was doing. I was seeing a whole bunch of holes. I was hitting the holes. Uh, I wish I got a touchdown, but <laughs> I'm cool with, you know, getting like 10, 20 yards. Um, what I got to say is our offensive line did really good. Like, you know, they were blocking. We, we was double teaming that week, and I think it worked really well. Now, I see you got the Kennedy Eagles track jacket on. Track something you might be uh, looking to pursue here again in the spring? Yeah, I, originally I was a track runner. I just, you know, I tried out lacrosse this year, but I'm probably going back next year. What do you think your best event is uh, for track and field? 100 meter or long jump. All right, well, hopefully we can get, uh, like, Zach, right? Maybe you guys can have a little sprint, Zach. Were you surprised at how fast Zach was? I was like, I didn't know Zach had that speed. Yeah, but I'm faster, though. You're faster? You'd win in that foot race? Yeah. All right, I, I can believe that. Marquez, uh, when you're back there with Ray Jean in the defensive backfield, it just seems like you guys have such a calming presence back there. You're both only uh, juniors, but uh, you've been around for a while now, both uh, third-year players. Um, from your perspective, in the in the backfield, how do you lead? And you got a lot of youth in front of you. It seems like you guys are kind of the rocks back there. Yeah, I gotta trust them to do what they're supposed to do, and I got them. Ah, yeah, I got them. If anything goes wrong. And how about Rajon too? On the, we saw on those multiple long runs, he's right there blocking for Zach, or he's right there blocking for you on those touchdown plays. Uh, has to be great knowing that. 
maybe he's not involved in the play, but uh, he's right there helping you guys. Yeah, I, I love to see. I love to see that. Yeah. Saeed, what was it like being back in Bloomington Stadium? I thought it was a great atmosphere on Friday, and the fans certainly were uh, into it, especially once you guys got the lead. Uh, how great was it to kind of go through that fourth quarter with the big lead, uh, seeing a lot of people with those smiles on the sideline and in the stands? Yeah, it felt great, um, especially since we were winning. The crowd was great. The sideline was great. Everybody was talking. The energy was high the whole game. Um, like, there might have, may have been a few couple bad plays, but everybody kept a positive attitude, and we won in the end. And I thought you guys were really balanced, not only running and passing, but you had six players with a rushing attempt, six players with a, that caught a pass in the game. You guys were getting everybody involved. That has to help the morale on the sidelines. Yeah, it really did. Um, even the, our younger players that don't usually, like, we're getting in a varsity game, got in, got some, you know, play time, had fun. Uh, I think it was great overall. There's been a lot of great running backs uh, the last really decade for Kennedy. Um, as you're kind of like that guy now, right? You're, you're a junior. Uh, how do you feel you want to improve your game to be considered with some of those Kennedy running backs of the past, uh, Theo Simmons and, and Terrell Davis Barber and some of those other backs that uh, left their legacy at Kennedy? Um, I really want to increase my vision and just overall athleticism, get bigger, get stronger. Uh, I've been in the weight room trying to get better every single day. What was that first week of class like for you? I guess maybe it's not quite a week yet, Marquez, but uh, it's underway, it's back. Uh, what do you like being back in the fall in person at Kennedy? Uh, I'd rather, personally, I'd rather do a virtual. Okay. Because I don't have to get up and come to school. <laughs> Like the, I feel like the first week was boring because we didn't we didn't really do anything. I'm with you. I, I get the I work virtually Monday and Friday, and I, I kind of like those days where you get to roll out of bed in the yeah. pajamas and you don't have to worry about the hair and 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 all that other stuff. But uh, how about you, Saeed? Uh, back in school, positives, negatives for you? The first week was boring. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like I got to start picking it up a little bit. Like, you know, we got to get, you know, start waking up early. Uh, we got homework now after practice, so we just got to get used to it. All right, guys, we'll let you go so you can get to bed on time, get that homework done for tomorrow. But uh, great win on Friday. Look forward to uh, seeing you guys back at home in a couple weeks. All right, best of luck. All right, thank you. All right, coming up next on Inside Kennedy Football, the coaches segment with defensive coordinator Jay Robinson at the, uh, on the other side of this break. I'm on buzz. I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. Okay, filters. you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! Back on Inside Kennedy Football, the Eagles look to move above 500 on Friday when they play Minneapolis Washburn. It's a road test for Kennedy starting at 7 o'clock. Well, coach is segment time now. Pleased to be joined by the brains behind Kennedy's uh, great defensive <laughs> performance on Friday, Jay Robinson. Jay, appreciate the time as always. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate Jay, it. when you look at that defense uh, on Friday, uh, you gave up the one score that was with a lot of second teamers in, so that first team really pitched that shutout. It seemed like when Washburn got in a good position to score, your team either got that turnover or got off the field, made critical plays to keep them scoreless. Yep, Highland Park. Oh, sorry, yeah, Highland it's, Park. It's my bad. Yeah, I kind of we kind of have a mentality where I mean, obviously we want to make it's all about field position. So if we can make the stop as early as possible, we want to do that. But if we bend, we we can't break. So. I do emphasize that if we get in the red area that we need to 
you know, put our backs up against the wall and we got to make a stop. So our guys have done that. They did it last year when I was here, and I thought they did a really good job of it on Friday. So Obviously, just talked to Marquez. Uh, we saw his big interception. He can make plays like that. We've seen that through his Kennedy career. But as a defensive coordinator, when you have a guy like that on the back end, on that back line, also Rajon Walker back there too, really the entire secondary has to be comforting from a coaching perspective. Yeah, it's nice. We've got a lot of guys in our secondary that are back. Um, and we've kind of changed our defense around a little bit where we can isolate those guys a little bit because they have shown they've given me a little trust in them. Um, but Marquez, yeah, he's our center fielder. So I tell him all the time he's my center fielder. We're trying to get him out for baseball this year. I think he'd be a great center fielder. I think but, he'd fit right in. Yep. He'd cover a lot of ground over, over there at Red Haddock's Field. But yep. uh, uh, also up front, I thought you, you guys are really disruptive. The defensive ends really stood out in this game, both. Lee Anthony Wright Ponder with a couple of sacks, a strip sack in there. Uh, and then obviously we know what we have with, with Christopher Martin, but I thought both of those guys really showed up on Friday. Yep, so preseason goals, we, we only averaged a sack and a half last year, and it was, it was something in camp that we really wanted to emphasize going into this year. So after the first week against Park, we only had one sack in the game. So we actually spent a, a majority of one of our practices last week just doing pass rush and really emphasizing the pass rush. And a uh, couple changes moving actually Chris from a five technique to a, an interior lineman, uh, playing a three, two eye. It actually got him freed up a little bit and able to do some things. So, yeah, Chris, Lee, all those guys were able to get up the field and be disruptive. So it was good. You guys are really young at linebacker this week, but I thought a big improvement in tackling from week one to week two. Uh, a lot less uh, guys going for extra yards in that St. Paul Highland Park game. Uh, definitely helped kept their, keep their – it was a shifty running back that you guys played on Friday, and you kept him under 100 yards. Yep, so that is our goal. Our goal is to do 199 yards under for rushing, 99 yards for passing. But um, we, we kind of felt like that first game, it's, you're going to get that with some of the tackling and stuff, especially with we keeping our guys on a pitch count for some of our scrimmages and stuff. When you got a team that's light in numbers, we kind of try to keep uh, – injury is our biggest fear. So going into week one, maybe we're a little um, – not enough live reps, you could say, maybe going into that first week, but having that first week under our belt and then doing a little bit more live during practice, I think helped us get get into tackling better. Well, what's the challenge this year? It's a super young team with just 11 seniors, I believe, total on the entire roster. Yes, you've got some returners like Marquez, but so much turnover from a year ago defensively. What was the approach uh, over the summer to, to get them acclimated so that they're able to get up to speed so quickly? Yeah, so I didn't want to. I want, kind of want to keep it simple, you know, and, and translate a lot of what we did last year. It helps that this scheme is their second year under their belt with a lot of returning guys. So um, I expected us to play a little bit better this year after playing, you know, moderately good football. I thought last year room for improvement, but really just trying to keep it the same from this year, uh, refining the skills a little bit, but then buying into the off-season programs, weightlifting and uh, summer practices. So. I thought our participation in the summer practices, seven on sevens, and uh, weightlifting was awesome. So helped out for sure. I believe you guys are averaging two turnovers a game through the first two games, three last week, and, and the, the turnover in the first week. Boy, if you could average two turnovers the rest of the season, I think you'd be a happy man when the regular season is done. Am I right on that? Yep. Yeah. Our goal is our goal is three, and uh, last week we had the three picks and one fumble, so we had four last okay. week. Okay. So you're over two we, per we're, game. There. Yep. We we're over two. We got so we got the four, and we're hoping to keep the three going for the rest of the year. What? Give us a sneak peek uh, on Friday with Minneapolis Washburn. What? Uh, what's the game plan? It's a team coming off of a nice, uh, impressive win last week. Yep, I think we want to. I thought we played um, we played our style of defense last week, and it showed. Uh, Park Center, we saw some things, and we thought that we could exploit kind of what they were doing, and we changed up a couple of little things on defense and kind of got out of what, who we are. Um, I think if we just go back to doing our style of defense and playing what we do, we'll be successful. Um, this team does a lot of good things. They they were down in their first game, so their numbers might be a little skewed passing. Um, they might want to. They're going to want to air it out on us a little bit, but the run plays that they do that are few, you can tell they rep them because they got them down. They've been doing it for years, so they're well coached up front. We just got to, you know, do do our job up front in the box, take care of the run game, and when they get thrown, I think the game's over. I trust our guys back there. 
Uh, that's where your playmakers are, and I totally agree with that. Coach, uh, congrats on the great performance on Friday. Best of luck as the season continues this Friday, right? Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, that's Jay Robinson, defensive coordinator for the Eagles. When we come back, we'll talk to the head coach, Kedrick Williams, about that game on Friday against Minneapolis Washburn. When inside, Kennedy football continues. Let's set the facts straight. Almost a quarter of car crashes involve cell phones. When you text and drive, you look away at least five seconds. At 55 miles per hour, that's the length of a football field. Time out. It's illegal in 39 states to text and drive, but you're in danger everywhere when you don't focus. So keep your eyes on the road and arrive alive. No text, no wrecks. So don't text and drive. Back on inside Kennedy football, the Eagles take to the road on Friday night as they take on Minneapolis Washburn to talk about that game. Head coach joins me again, Kedrick Williams. Coach, uh, both teams coming off of uh, their first win of the season. One of those teams is going to make it uh, two in a row on Friday. What do you see from Minneapolis Washburn so far through two games? Well, of course, first of all, we want that to be us, you know, that two team, uh, two wins in a row. You know, what I see from Washburn is a rebuilding program. Over the last two years that we've played them, I've probably had about 18 kids in that program who I used to coach in my, my uh, youth football days, and I brought them up to that. So that, that pipeline, fortunately, has stopped. So I'm really <laughs> looking forward to what they have now and really going after them being aggressive. Let's take a look at some of their highlights. Now, these are highlights from their win last week mm -hmm. uh, against uh, St. Paul Johnson. They allowed less than 50 yards rushing. You see how nicely they flow to the football right there. That's a good job on the, on the edge there. You know, that's where their strength is. Right there, you see, um, they were going to plug that hole. But, yeah, that, that's where their strength is on the edge. If we can keep things downhill inside, I believe we'll have a great shot. And then they've really made their way offensively passing the football. They yes. had two passing touchdowns. Last week, Coach, uh, both rather long. This one, a 51-yard touchdown pass, Coach, uh, for one of their two scores. But they've got a quarterback, and they've got some obviously some weapons that can go the distance if they get space. They do. They are Washburn still. You know, they haven't changed the stripes. So they do recruit good athletes, not recruit, but gain good athletes over there. It's still a great park in Pearl Park. Got a lot of friends over there that supply them with a lot of good athletes coming up. And then Galindo, he does such an amazing job over there. He's been over there for a few years now. Uh, Ryan Galindo is a very good friend of mine. Uh, we do talk. We do jive at each other a little bit. But he knows the last two games we've played, we've won the second half. So this one we want to win all four quarters. I thought balance was so critical last Friday. When you look ahead also to what you want to do down the line, and I mentioned it to, to, the, to the guys in the players segment, six different uh, players with a rushing attempt last week. Mm -hmm. Six different players caught a pass last week. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys were getting everyone involved in the offense. And when, when you do that, it's, it's hard to, it's kind of like pick your poison in a way. It really is. And we have athletes at Kennedy High School. That's who we want to send everybody a message to. You know, on East Side Pride here, we got athletes, baby. We're going to use them. You can believe that. So we've put some new things in with some new athletes this week. So I'm smiling pretty, Josh. I really am. <laughs> you know, and it's the mentality. I think that we're going to go into Washburn with the right mentality uh, going into that. We've lost, like I said, twice to them. And I think the kids are fired up. You know, we're fired up. Class of 22 and class of 23, we're ready. We're ready to get that W. And not only the balance, Coach, but uh, how important are big plays? We obviously saw – a plethora of big plays on Friday with the long runs, interceptions, four, four turnovers. I, I shortchanged J1 there, my apologies. But, uh, oh, believe me, he has it. <laughs> I'm sure. It. But the, the big plays, Coach, just to even to get half of what you got on uh, from last Friday to this Friday would be huge. And, you know, that's what we talk about, big play football. You know, a brand of entertainment football like we see in a commercial, right? Big plays. Uh, we, we just really want to continue that drive, man. We have kids. If we get them the ball – they can make a five-yard play into a 20-yard play, right? And that's really what we talk about. I'm so proud of Zach's maturity right now. Don't want to go too far and jinx that. But, you know, that's what it all starts with, his offensive maturity. And then our defense. We had a really good defense last year. We graduated two, three really good defensive players, two in Lavelle and Deion Barber. You know, we graduated some people, so we had to rebuild. Jesse Falk. 
You know, he's over at Carlton playing. Dion's at North Dakota playing. Uh, Lavelle's over at Augsburg playing. We had about five or six guys on that defense last year who are in college playing at that level right now. Yeah, and I thought it's just been an impressive job from Jay. Mm -hmm. to, I know he's got some returners in the back end, but um, getting the pressure you've got through two weeks yep. and yep. Uh, not allowing the big plays, uh, that's been huge for the defense. It really has. You know, our defensive leader up front is Christopher Martin, and Chris has been just so mature. You know, he's got a couple of scholarships under his belt, offers, you know, and things like that. So I'm glad people are starting to notice Kennedy kids. You know, just today we had a letter from Dartmouth. Uh, Marquez is receiving some interest from Iowa State. So we have athletes at Kennedy who the world is starting to pick up and notice now. And I'm just really excited about the future. We're excited about the game on Friday, Coach. I can't wait to watch it back. Uh, best of luck. Hopefully we're here talking about another Kennedy win next week, okay? Hey, same thing, Josh. I'm, I'm, I know we're going to be here talking about another win. Look forward to it. All right, that's the head coach, Kedrick Williams. The Eagles are hoping to get that win as they take on Minneapolis Washburn on Friday. Of course, we'll talk to the head coach about it on Tuesday's edition of Inside Kennedy Football. That'll wrap it up for our entire studio. This is or for our entire crew, this is Josh Powers saying goodnight from our studio.